good morning. So you're joining us on a very, very exciting day. A day that's going to change our lives forever. We are bringing home our second ragdoll kitten today. I am so excited. If you didn't see my last video where I brought Echo home, that was about nine months ago now. And it was one of the best days of my entire life. Circumstances then were a little different because of lockdown, so we actually had Echo delivered to us by the breeder, but this time we're heading to the breeder to pick this little guy up. Um, I'll share his name now. He's going to be called Rory and he's a little guy. Um, he's a lilac mitted, wait what is it, <laughs> a tabby lilac mitted ragdoll and he is absolutely beautiful. Um, yeah, I will share more about the story of getting him later on. But as for now, I'm just trying to get myself sorted so that we get there on time to pick him up. We're heading to Liverpool, so we've got quite a drive. Echo is, uh, <laughs> he's insistent that he's coming with us. Um, I've just got this cage out, so we're just using the same cage that we've always used because we know it's good and we know they can't escape from it. I tried to descent it and Echo just insists on going back in. So yeah, we are newbies to this. We might do things wrong, but I just thought I'd bring you along for a candid fly on the wall video to share what it's like to bring another ragdoll home and to introduce them as well. I'm really, really hoping that they get on and it might be a little bit hissy to start with, but I'm hoping that in time they can be best friends. Oh, and play with each other. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. Right. Anyway, enough of that. Oh, oh dear. Are you saying hello? <laughs> I think we'll um, get this bag packed and get going. I've been walking around in circles trying to think what I should bring. So I've got a spare camera, a few toys, and well, the breeder's going to give us loads of stuff so we, he comes with a kitten pack which is something that Echo came with as well so it'll have toys and food and litter and who knows what else I'm excited to look through it it'll be like a goodie bag but we won't get that until we pick him up today so I think that's all we'll need it's about an hour and a half's drive so not too long <laughs> this guy's been full of beans today he's woken up he woke up this morning and he was chasing a spider I thought oh god this is going to be a day so <laughs> <laughs> oh dear me, I just hope he gets it all out of his system so that we can have a nice tame meeting for the both. You and Dad's smelly shoes, are you? <laughs> so there's a few ways that you can introduce cats. The first way is to separate them and to slowly introduce them over time, which is what we were going to do. Um, our breeder's got lots and lots of experience, she's introduced lots of cats, and she said, considering both of their natures so the way they are she thinks it's probably going to be okay to just introduce them straight away so i'm going to talk to her again when we get there and just double check uh, what she thinks is best but yeah i'll keep you guys updated on what we choose to do and you'll be able to see for yourselves what works <laughs> and learn from our mistakes but i'm really hoping that echo is going to take to him quite quickly and maybe that's just me being naive and if not then we'll go back to plan a and we'll introduce him slowly over time but He's a pretty tame character and it sounds like Rory is basically the same, so fingers crossed. One of the other things I've done to integrate them better is get these Feliway plug-in plugins. So it's just a plug-in thingy-jig and it's supposed to have, I think it's pheromones in, which help them to feel calm and safe. This Optimum one is supposed to be like the best one for integrating two cats. So I've got one of these downstairs and one on the landing to the places that the cats are the most. And yeah, that's where they are the most, or Echo is at least. Who knows where we're always going to want to be. So I'm just going to plug this in and turn it on so that when we bring him home, there's feelings of reassurance and calmness in the atmosphere. <laughs> Oh, bless him. See, this is why I want him to have a friend, so we've got someone to play with and he's not just playing with himself when we're busy. <laughs> I'm so excited to see the difference in height between them both because Echo is nearly a year old. He's a year old in August and Rory is 16 weeks, so yeah, it's a big difference. <laughs> Are you going to be a good boy while we're gone? Yeah? and be full of kindness and cuddles when we come home. Yeah. Bing. Soon two will become, one will become two, and <laughs> two will become one. Oh. Mm. Right, my love. You have a good day. We'll see you in a few hours, okay? Okay. Oh. <laughs> 
We don't know if it's one you want yet. <laughs> right. We're about 15 minutes away now, so not very long at all. I'm feeling really excited and nervous. The breeders just sent a beautiful picture of Rory, and I just, oh, I just can't wait to meet him now. Um, yeah, so. I've got to go into her house and we'll have little introductions. I can only go in so it's only me and not Dom uh, just because of restrictions that are in place and things right now so it's just going to be me so I won't take my camera in because that'll be really awkward for me but we will share him with you once we get him back in the car so not long now. Hello little guy. Are we going to be friends? Are we going to be friends? You're so soft. <laughs> he says, what the heck is this? Can I have a goodie good? Can I? No. Can I? Can I pick you up? <gasps> You're so small! <laughs> <laughs> You've got so much wriggling about you. You've not learned how to rag it, have you? <laughs> off skis. Get off! Mm. I want to explore. I don't want touching. He's a good boy. It's like, what's that weird thing looking at me? <laughs> Back, to bed. Soon, buddy. <laughs> Back to bed. Back to bed. You should have seen him inside. He can jump as high as the counter. Oh God, really? <laughs> Echo's got a thing to learn then. Yep. I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone. I I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations, oh Cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting But then you came along and proved me all wrong, I was so mistaken Cause you glue all the pieces back together yeah. So we're about, oops, there's a cat hair on the lens <laughs> We're about 10 minutes from home now and when we get back, what I'm gonna do is, hopefully you can hear me, it's really noisy in the car. Um, I'm gonna leave e e Echo, oh my goodness me. I'm gonna leave Dom in the car with Rory so they can get to know each other a little better. The breeder said if I touch Echo and Dom touches Rory, that's gonna be best because Echo might not want Rory sent on him. Um, Rory's a little more easygoing because he's just been with all of his siblings so he's not too fussed. So that's what we're gonna do. Once I get inside, I'm gonna empty all the litter trays in the house, clean them all, and then put Rory's litter in because Echo uses any litter. And to be honest, he uses outside more than anything else. But just so it's more familiar for Rory, that's what I'm gonna do. I feel like I'm gonna get the names mixed up so many times now, uh, but I can't wait to be back and just, yeah, see how it all goes. But the breeder was excellent, so, so good. It's so worth going to a knowledgeable breeder. Um, I'll talk more about this probably in another video video in the future but she she was fantastic and she really wanted to be able to see that that Rory was going to be happy and that we bonded and it was nice because you could see how anxious he was when I first went in and then over time he slowly just got more and more confident uh, which makes me feel good too. Not long now till I get him home. I've come inside and I washed my hands and um, I've just let Echo smell me and he can definitely smell he can definitely smell uh, Rory on me he can smell me on my arms so I brought this cat litter in, so I'm going to change the cat trays to this litter now, just so it's more familiar, and then we'll bring him in. Dom's just in the car with Rory, and I thought I would just settle Echo like it was a normal old day and nothing, <laughs> nothing strange happening. He seems fine. Seems sleepy. Who does that smell of? Is it weird? It's very inquisitive. <laughs> Good 
boys. Good boys. Good job. Good boy. Good job. Good job. Here's oblivious. <laughs> <laughs> it's just in a really like sleepy Good job. Oh. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. I feel what's more concerned about the carrier than Rory. <laughs> you two boys are going to be best friends. It's so good. I'm proud of you both. Hey? Good boys. Enough adventure for now. <laughs> You're still like, who are you? Why are you here? <laughs> nice to meet you. You've been such gentlemen. Good boys. Good boys. <laughs> it's like the mirrored each other then. <laughs> oh, my sweet baby. I was never the one to give up the ghost No, I was so stuck I kept on playing my part Wanted to give up cause nothing was changing But with you it's so clear And now that you're here I see colours in every spectrum Guess I finally learned my lesson Cause you and all the pieces back together Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better Sorry! <laughs> Is <laughs> it living creature? It looks just like me, but nothing like me. Look <laughs> how long you already are. So <laughs> let him by. Come on. Good brothers. Good brothers. <laughs> he's acting like he's a spider. This is how it is with spiders. And I'm thinking out loud. We won't need to. Rory's like, I don't care. <laughs> I'm gonna get yourself stuck out the same gap again. Good boys, you're gonna be best friends. Hey. It's so beautiful, Rory. Good place. Uh, is that it? Is that adventure? Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better. Yeah, you, you're making me want to try forever. I feel so free. I've got a little bit of growling coming from Echo, which is very low. Um, Excuse the sound of the coffee machine. <laughs> I think I think this is a really positive. So we're speaking to the breeder as we do this and in the videos, and she said it's a really positive first impression. So that's really good. <laughs> Echo doesn't seem too fussed. Is a bit a bit unsure, but I think he's soon going to warm up. I mean, they're so close to each other in there. Rory came all the way out, um, and he's just gone back inside now. So. Hopefully I'll come back out again. She said we can just take Echo upstairs out of the way for five and let Rory explore and get more confident, which might be what we do because he seems quite, he's quite happy now. Has he gone to sleep? Oh, little boy. I know it's a big, scary day. 
It's crazy the difference between having just Echo and bringing him home for the first time to introduce in a second cat. Obviously this is Echo's home, you know, he's got his scent everywhere. We're bringing a completely new cat in. I'm so happy with how this introduction's gone. And it just shows like, if you know your cat's temperament, you kind of know how they're gonna be. If Echo was a bit sassy or territorial ever, we would never have done this, but the breeder knew Rory and I know Echo. And so, yeah, I'm just so happy that we listened to her. Um, and we'll see how they get on, but as you can see, Echo's completely lost interest now and Rory's just having a nice pamper session with Dom in his cage, so all in all, I think things are going quite well. <laughs> we'll keep you updated though. Can I help you? I don't think he's too fussed. Um, I left the lid off these and the next thing I know we could hear this noise and I thought he was growling and then I realised he was just, no, get your head out. <laughs> there you go, there's one there for you. Um, this is good as well, this is a good sign. Bless him such a big day. I've been worried about this day for so long but it's going much better than I thought. I can't remember if I said but she said to one of us to have Echo and the other to be Rory so I'm team Echo and Dom's team Rory just because Echo's really bonded to me and then that way if Echo doesn't want Rory's scent on him then he won't get it on him so as much as I really want to I'm not stroking him right now. Rory's just come out of his cage. He's going for an explore so I'm just gonna hold on to Echo for a sec. And then you cut, then you cut. already what is this the an adventure he's off bye take me back to when we were kids and they didn't care if we were acting stupid because all we had was eyes if i close my eyes and think about us i can see the person i know i should be because honestly I don't have no time to waste I'm trying to go back to you Because now I see We were meant to be I just took Echo upstairs for five minutes just to let Rory scope out downstairs because he was looking a bit worried and scared um, That's what the breeder said to do just so that Rory can feel really confident and secure in his surroundings and Echo has five away from being Confused. <laughs> uh, so I took treats upstairs and Echo was happy and Rory and Dom had a real laugh down here. Um, and now Echo looks a bit unsure again, but we're just going to keep doing this on and off just so that, I mean, Rory seems a lot more confident now. He's just, <laughs> no, there's nothing that stops him, is there? Oh, Straight down know. the back. Don't go down there. <laughs> Where are you going, little bud? Because he's my shelf. My everything. <laughs> Good boy. <laughs> Hello. Nicely. Good boy. Is that sick? He says. It is. Good job. So we've just fed him some of his own food because he was stealing echoes. Um, he looks ravenous, bless him. 
but that's really good because sometimes it can take them 24 hours to even eat, drink or go to the toilet, so we'll see. As you can see, he's still a bit on edge. Dom's just got echo while he eats. Come on. Oi. <laughs> Two cats on a chair. You've been a good boy, Echo. We don't fight. No, it's okay. Good job. Good boys. Oh, Echo, that was dramatic. Didn't do anything. It's okay, Rory. Okay. Rory flops down above the floor. I don't like it scared when I make this. You're so brave, aren't you? You're tiny. You're half his size, and you're just so brave. Not fussed, are you? Not at all. It's on an adventure. Day one and he's already on the shelf. Oh, <laughs> it starts all over again. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh. <laughs> Rory. Come out. Come on. What are you doing? What are you doing? Are you stuck? That's it. Back it up. A beautiful play. So while they're having a little snooze, I thought I would just quickly share the food that Rory is currently on and what we're probably going to switch him to over time. So he's on the Royal Cannon. This is the second stage kitten, kitten, kitten food and also the jelly as well. And the other food that I got the breeder to try is this one by Happy Tums, which is a really well-known breeder, um, ragdoll breeder that is, and she started her own food line and I thought it just sounded really promising. So I've introduced um, Echo to this as well, so I'm hoping I can transition them both from Royal Cannon onto this because the ingredients are much better. And we're gonna slowly transition Rory from the Royal Cannon jelly to this brand which is Thrive. If you've watched my videos before you'll know that we really like this brand. It says on the thing zero nonsense and it's just really good complete food um, and Echo loves it and Rory does too because he's had a little nibble off Echo's plate which Echo wasn't very happy about mind you but yeah that's the food um, shenanigan because I know that I'm going to get asked. We used to feed Echo raw and then we stopped doing because he's been really fussy. So maybe when they're about a year old, uh, when Rory's about a year old, we might start reintroducing raw and see how they go. But we were just wasting it and it was wasting money. So yeah, hopefully we can move them onto this and the tinned Thrive food eventually. But it's important when you bring a kitten home to leave them on the food that they're used to for a good few weeks because otherwise it can upset their digestion, especially ragdolls. They're so well known for having they can get upset so much really, really easy. And you don't want to mess with that when you've got a long-haired cat. So yeah, hopefully he'll stop eating Echo's food and eat his own. I put it out and he went straight to it. So hopefully tonight um, uh, Echo will leave Rory alone and he'll be able to eat some more as well. Hello. You're beautiful, aren't you? What are you up to? What are you up to most, most of all? <laughs> Happy boy. Oh. Uh oh. There's an echo under there. Oh. <laughs> Don't you feel safe there? Don't you feel safe? I know, oh, you're so cute. Boy. Good boy. Wow. What does that mean? What? What a beautiful. I like that. <laughs> you like that? Pretty nice, you. Good boy, echo. 
Good boy, Rory. Good job. Look at Don't you be nasty. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh dear me. I bet one day you're going to be too heavy for that. You can pull it down, please. So. Rory to here so that he can eat if he needs to and just so he can investigate. He's going to be sleeping in here today with Dom so at least he can eat food now without Echo interfering with him if he wants to. <laughs> He's so cute and small. The difference in weight between them both is crazy and <laughs> when we've seen pictures of Rory I've been thinking he looks the same size as Echo this is really weird but when I went into that room and saw him for the first time I thought Oh my goodness me, like he's tiny, they're so small when they're young and I got to see his mum and his mum is so beautiful. He is basically the double of his mum so she's a lilac tabby as well and oh my gosh they're just such beautiful cats so I'm really happy. Echo's a blue tabby and I've now got a lilac tabby so I feel like that was, <laughs> they were the two colours I really liked and I'm just so happy things worked out so that we got him so yeah I am. Um, <laughs> I'm just going to follow this little guy around for a bit longer. <laughs> you play football? Oh my gosh, you're so cute. I won't tell him that's Echo's spot. <laughs> oh, bless you. Good boy. He's a good boy. Yeah, he's a nice, beautiful boy. Beautiful boy. Come on out. Come on out. Hello, beautiful. Hello, beautiful. <laughs> Hello. Oh, you look tired now. Are you tired? Where are you going? Where are you going? Are you so happy up there, Ori? Hey? Hello? Hello? Come on then, let's have you. Uh oh, you can't steal Echo's seat. <laughs> He's a good boy. There's something about this bag. <laughs> Rory tried to get entirely in it when we were in the car and now Echo is obsessed with it too. But he started scenting me again, which is a good sign, so hopefully they'll settle down a little now. I might take Echo upstairs to go to sleep because I think he's getting really tired. Rory just wants to sleep and Echo is saying, I'll watch your every move, buddy. I'll watch your every move. <laughs> So Dan's gone upstairs with Rory. I think they might have fell asleep because it's very quiet. I've just taken Echo outside and he's still a bit on edge, but I think he's calming down a little now. I wanted to share with you this kitten pack I got. So um, the breeder we got uh, Rory from <laughs> sent us home with this beautiful little welcome pack. So this fun bag, which I think is brilliant. And it's crinkly as well, I think, listening to it. So the cats are going to have so much fun with that. <laughs> and then two um, like toys, so a feather one and this really fun green one. Also a little ball. This looks really fun. Echo loves balls like this and I can imagine Rory does because he was going crazy upstairs. And then lots of new balls and toys to play with. Some little tuna freeze dried treat things. And then this little thing, so a squeaking springy mouse toy which sounds really fun. I was not expecting this at all. That's really kind and also all of his paperwork and documents that I need to move over into our name now as well. But yeah, it's just such a nice little touch. And especially with two cats, it's so much better because I can distract them both and new toys always go down so much better than the old ones. Good job. Good boys. <laughs> <laughs> so 
little monsters stealing Echo's food, so one of the tips I read was to put the food to different places, so I'll keep Echo's food here and I'll put Rory's maybe in the kitchen or somewhere else because I don't want, I don't want them to get cross with each other. He's hungry though, look at him go. their little fights um, Rory ended up upstairs under the bed and I was laid there with Echo and I thought I'm just gonna leave Echo downstairs he's fine whereas this little guy has had such a big day and he's all on his own up here and so I've closed us in and we're just gonna have a bit of time together just to bond and make him feel comforted because it's such a big thing and he's done such a good job he did he's been brilliant I think they're going to be really good friends though. Yeah, I do. Here you go. Come on then. Off you bop. <laughs> I think he's going to have really long fur. Look at how long this is. I know Echo's fur is long, but I think this is going to be longer. Come up here then. Come on, beautiful. I don't know if I mentioned this was the other thing we got from his wonderful breeder. So it's got his name and two paw prints and it's in the colour purple, which is the colour that he had, um, they get collars when they're younger so the breeders can differentiate who they are <laughs> and he was purple so I just think that's a really nice touch and it goes with my house which is even better so she, you know, um, kept this with him and so it smells like her house and things he remembers which is comforting for him as well so I'm hoping that he can calm down Oh, I think he might be going to a litter tray or at least he's found it I actually recently upgraded to these litter trays, so this is one that's for like a really large cat, like a Maine Coon or a Ragdoll, um, and I've just put his put like his litter in it because, I mean, Echo uses any, and Rory's used to that, so I want it to be all normal for Rory, as much as normal as it can be, <laughs> with a big nasty brother downstairs. Where have you gone? You find the tiny spaces, don't you? Me? <laughs> Hide with me, hide with me, hide with me, come and hide, hide with me, hide with me, hide with me. Come on, my adventure cat. Good morning, you two. How are we doing? How are we doing today? Are we doing well? You're very chatty, aren't you? <laughs> he was shadow. Hey. Come on then, let's go downstairs. Do you want some breakfast? Hey? Are you coming? Come on then. Come on, Rory. Come on, little beautiful. No, he says, I want Echo's food. No? What do you want? Hey, you're playing. I want this dirty street for years I left it all to see you To wipe up all your tears So it's now Thursday, so it's been four days, just about four days since we brought little Rory home. I don't know if you can see him up there, right on that little platform there. That's one of his favourite places to sleep. 
and Echo is just over on the stairs. They've been so good and they took to each other so, so well. I thought I would just film this little outro and just share how the last few days have been going because obviously the first day we brought uh, Rory home, emotions were high. They were still getting used to each other but they are really, really doing so well. So we kept them separate for the first two nights. So um, Rory was with Dom in the spare room and I had Echo in our master bedroom and he had access to the entire house as well. Rory would cry for Echo and <laughs> settle down with Dom and then in the morning on the first day I let Echo do his normal routine and then we introduced them both to each other again and it was all positive, lots of nose booping, no hissing, no growling. It was just <laughs> such a blessing. So I can't remember if I said at the beginning but our breeder was really confident in Rory and I was pretty confident in Echo who's never showed any dominant or aggressive behaviour. So what she said is film um, Rory coming out of the carriage, of the carriage? The carrier and we'll you know see how they interact and send it to me and I'll let you know what to do and obviously they were absolutely fine and so she was really happy and really impressed and they literally bonded within a few hours. Um, I got some little videos of Echo trying to really do a quick lick as he walked past because he wanted to start grooming. Apparently grooming is more of a dominant behaviour as well, there's always a more dominant cat so obviously that's going to be Echo, he's a much bigger cat, this is his house and Rory has come into this house but they are very happy and Rory is just so happy to submit. Um, this morning I woke up and Echo was asleep next to me like he usually is and Rory was under the bed, that's where he slept and he came out meowing <laughs> trying to find where everyone was. I brought him up onto the bed for cuddles and then he instantly looked for Echo, went down, laid with him and I had a hug and kisses and a groom and I just thought, oh my goodness me. I literally couldn't have asked for anything better. They've been playing and they've just been having so much fun. Don't get me wrong, there's been the odd growl and hiss and aggressive play, but I think overall they are friends and you know, like the breeder said, it's love, you know, when they're grooming each other it is love. So all in all it's going well. <laughs> If you want me to do a video in the future about how we went about integrating two cats into the same house, I would love to do that and I'd love to share some little tips and tricks that we've learnt because it's been interesting, it's been a real journey and there was not a lot of information out there about not separating them completely because I do think it really does, I think the temperament of the cat really does have an impact on how well and how quickly they're going to bond together. So yes, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I apologise for the camera noise. I bought a new camera the other day and I should have tried it before I went and picked Rory up. What happened was I had it on the tripod and the vibrations coming from the tripod were going into the camera. So that's the little annoying noise you could hear the entire way through. So I'll try and figure it out for next time. I'll leave the link below to when we brought Echo home so you can compare the difference. It was a completely different experience for us, but one I'm very happy about. And Rory has made Echo come so much far out of his shell. Rory is a wild child. <laughs> we, I think he was a stuntman in a former life because he literally has no fear. He's so confident, so agile. He's got so much upper body strength. He literally scales this in about one second. He just literally is all the way up with his front paws. It's amazing to see. And I'm just so excited to watch him grow and watch them grow closer and closer together. The difference between the two is insane. I would not realized how big Echo had got. I know you guys tell me all the time how big Echo is, but I hadn't realized how big he was. And I really appreciate his cuddles so much more now too. They're just so fluffy and snuggly. It's like, it's like having a cuddle with a bear. <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to stop chattering. I hope you have a brilliant day and I'll probably be back again tomorrow with a vlog from like a day in the life of my chaotic week. <laughs> I hope you all have a fantastic day. Subscribe if you're new. I'm going to have lots more videos on this channel about Rory and Echo and their little shenanigans and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.